It's finally time. It's here. We are finally doing it. We are flipping through the first six months months of this year in this beautiful B5 notebook from Archer and Olive. And this was uh, in collaboration with Elizabeth from Plant Based Pride. These are no longer available, but they did recently do a very cool fall launch and they brought back a lot of favorites. So definitely go check out their website if you are looking to buy some new notebooks for 2023. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just going to be flipping through this and uh, you know, talk about uh, some spreads I've made and uh, how, I, how I've used them, how I worked them, if they worked, if they didn't work. Sorry this video is so freaking late. I am running behind on life, basically. <laughs> anyway, um, let's just get into it. Uh, starting with the cover page. Uh, uh, this is cute, but I'm definitely not doing that anymore. I use a lot of notebooks. I use about eight notebooks in a year, so uh, it's a lot of names to go through. So very cute, like the design, but uh, we are not doing uh, very elaborate cover pages anymore. Kept this blank, and then we are moving on to the grid spacing cheat sheet and the serenity prayer. Um, yeah. Here at a glance and my 2022 word of the year enough. Um, definitely need to reread that and do more with that. Goals, dreams, and affirmations didn't really add anything to this. And a fun little 2022 quote or uh, yearly spreads. The future log, these are all now transferred into my Hobonichi weeks. I'm switching things up, trying trying new things, trying to see what works and what doesn't. Also, this has been transferred into my Hobonichi Weeks. This has been transferred into my uh, financial planner. This I don't need anymore, uh, which is good. I, uh, you know, I, I haven't had much anxiety episodes so, uh, in the past six months, so yeah. That's awesome. These little fun things. Uh, this has been transferred into my new long-term collections one. Uh, this this was really fun, but as you can see, I just stopped <laughs> uh, filling these in. I just sketched this out and just left it at that. I am doing more of a content planning journal these days, uh, so something like this might be coming back in that, you know, just trying out some ideas, but uh, yeah. Uh, here we have a favorite small shops list and some discount codes that are personal. Uh, this list has gotten a lot longer because I've uh, discovered a lot of new great shops, which is not good. Hence, I'm needing to go back to reading enough. Uh, that is the word of the year. These are some of the books I've read. Uh, it's not all the books I've read. Um, I'm not uh, as far along as reading as I would like to, but this is already a lot more than I did last year. So very, very interesting book. For this one is an absolute favorite. The House in Cerulean Sea, highly recommend. It's so beautiful. This one was very, really, very cool as well, by the way. Um, so yeah. My yearly horoscope page, and then we get into January. Uh, well, these are plan with me, these are for, for these the set of R lines. So, if you want to uh, get a better view of these, then definitely go check those ads. I'm just gonna go through these a little faster, except for this mood tracker, which is so freaking cool. I really like this. Still doing that. And that was January. Then we get into February. Really like this one. I love the functional cover spread. Yeah. Yeah, I seem to really like that theme as well. So thank you so much for viewing and liking and watching and really grateful for all that. Gratitude log, brain dump, healthcare bingo and workout tracker. Vintage 
which not of the theme. This sort of tracker. It's very neat and clean. <laughs> this um, was a different way for me to track my workouts, but I injured my arm in February and um, yeah, I haven't done much workout since because I also injured my knee in July. We get into the weeklies. sort of tracker I really this is definitely one of my favorite ways to track uh, a lot in one spread. Gratitude and um, you can see it barely filled that out. Uh, the celebration pages for my dogs and the weeklies. This is a fun layout, definitely need to try that again. So yeah, the May cover page, this was also very well liked, so thank you all so very much. I'm really, really proud of how this theme turned out, really, it's still my, one of my favorites. The May calendar, gratitude log, very pretty. Again, a barely fill in fitness tracker, self care bingo, and then my favorite sort of trackers. This side, which the brain dump, which I use, which is more becoming a thing where I keep track of what I watch in the month. <laughs> uh, And the washi tape. This is, I really like this. You can, I kind of wish I had more mood swings. <laughs> it sounds silly, but you know, that would have really livened it. Yeah, word up. Word up. Sorry. <laughs> and I really do like this, uh, this theme. Uh, I was talking about this uh, a couple of videos ago. Not, I'm not going to do this sort of pattern tracking anymore because you can see it's just a hot mesh, you really can't make heads or tails of this, so not doing this like that. But that's just a hot, hot, hot mess. Anyway, brain dump and gratitude look, and then we get into the Dutch Door Weekly. It's also very fun. I did feel like I run out, ran out of space, uh, but then again, I do have a daily lock. are the last two blank pages. This, that's it. This is uh, when I started planning for my second half of 2022, but you know, a lot of that has changed since I'm now uh, also using the OBG weeks. So this was me trying to empty out my brown ink. Um, yeah, pretty. <laughs> Got some tarot spreads. So that's it. Quick little video, quick little flip through of uh, everything in this notebook. Now I can retire this and um, continue my journey in my other B5 from Archer and all of. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll hope to see you guys for my October plan with me. 
Q&A. Leave your questions in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, follow me on Instagram, all the other things. Uh, everything will be linked in the description down below. And, uh, catch you later, guys.